Hey buddies, Sumnuts Guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we're going to teach you guys how to get frost rods and frost powder and blaze rods and blaze powder without having to go to the nether. I've had a lot of you guys ask in the comments how to find these things, so I just thought I'd put together a quick guide for you so you can get these fairly reliably. With regards to the frost side of things, for a frost rod, you've got Wendigos and Reavers. And for the frost powder, you've got the Arix and the Serpix. Um, these guys, the Wendigos, spawn in the blue ooze stuff, and so do the Arix. So honestly, just finding an ice biome with a with a decent pool of blue ooze and chilling there waiting for these guys to spawn is probably the most reliable way. Reavers will spawn, I believe, from frost fire. So if an Arix shoots frost fire, these frost fire, these guys can come out of that. And also sometimes you just find them floating around in the frosty biomes. But I think your Wendigo and your Afrit, uh, your, uh, what are these guys called again? The Reaver, uh, the Arix are going to be the most likely uh, ways for you to get your frost rods and your frost powder. Alternatively, you can always check Doom-like dungeons as well. So as an example, they've got an ice Doom-like dungeon here. And we have an Arix spawner just, just here off the entrance. So if you go to specific biomes and Doom-like dungeons, they will have different types of spawners in them. And sometimes you can find the useful things that you're looking for in those places as well. But honestly, I think going to an ice biome and uh, and just finding yourself one of those ooze pools is probably going to be the most reliable way. You don't need a whole lot of frost rods anyway. And it's probably the blaze rods that you guys are more curious about so that you can get your blaze powder for the glowing ingots and get yourself a dragon's eye with the glowing ingots or whatever the case may be. And I found the most reliable way so there are a couple of lycanite mobs that spawn these there's lobbers and these guys are kind of tough to fight early days and they only spawn really in the nether and the deep ravines with launch lots of lava if you need the blaze rods uh these guys do drop blaze rods however if you just need blaze powder these afrit would spawn a lot more commonly in smaller lava pools uh on the surface and whatnot these guys will drop blaze powder for you so these, you know, if you just find a lava pool out in the open, these guys will probably start spawning from them and get yourself a bit of blaze powder that way. But if you want a nice stack of blaze rods and not have to worry about it too much, you're going to want to look for one of these. This is a reverse battle tower. And the reverse battle towers have been changed in 2.9. They now have less loot, less chests, but a lot more spawners. And oftentimes, those spawners will actually include, we pop down here, a, wait for it, blaze spawner so this one this dungeon this uh reverse battle tower is quite uh, quite empty of them there's only i think one blaze spawner in this whole place however i found uh i found these reverse battle towers that have two three uh or more blaze spawners i think i mean there was just so many blazes it felt like it must have been more than one spawner um and this you know one spawner's worth of blazes is probably going to be enough blaze rods to last you until you're he heading into the nether anyway so that's that, guys. Really quick and easy. That's how you get your frost rods and powder and your blaze rods and powder. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more video li videos like this, consider subscribing. We go live on our Twitch channel pretty much every day. We're supposed to take Mondays and Fridays off, but I've been enjoying our craft so much. I've been uh, streaming on those days as well. Um, we are running a 2.9 server. If you guys would like to join that, you'd be welcome to join. It is public. All you got to do is join the Twitch channel, earn 3,000 channel points, and that'll unlock the whitelist for you so you can get access to the server. Alrighty, guys, hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.